just got ColourPop like lip stuff, so I thought I would try it today. That shit dries so quickly. Do you know how long it took me to like get this not looking like a hot mess? Like it's still not exactly like cute, but we're gonna go with it. It's, it's a hard lip thing to put on. Discovered that. Am I obsessed with them? Yes, they're so pretty and the colors are just to die for, but so hard to put on. They have this new set which is called Forever and Never or something like that. It's like a five pack and I want it so badly, but like, girl, girl, I bought the poor baby five pack and it was $41. Supposed to be $29.99, but your girl's an idiot and forgot that it's an American company, which means the Canadian dollar gets transferred into American money, which means it's like a million dollars more. The struggle when I saw my bank account. But pretending it didn't happen. Early Christmas present, that's what I'm going with. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with the Winter Wonderland book tag. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, but... It's winter time, so your girl wanted to do a winter tag, so your girl is doing a winter tag. The tag was originally created by Jack Eats Books, so I'll leave his original video down below if you guys want to check that out. And without further ado, let us get started. The first question is, what is a book that is so happy and sweet that it warms your heart? I'm going with Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I read this book last year. I have a review of it if you want to check that out. But I love this book. Paris, I want to go so badly. I've never been, but it's been like my dream since like grade nine. Like I want to go so badly. And just this book is so cute and fluffy and I just, it makes me happy. The second question is what is your favorite book with a white cover? And I am going with Burned by Ellen Hopkins. I love this book. This is my second Ellen Hopkins book. I originally read Identical, and I was like hooked with her writing. I now, every time I see Ellen Hopkins, I buy it. Like, I need all the Ellen Hopkins books. I've read four now. I'm currently reading Smoke by Ellen Hopkins, which is the second book in this series. And I just, it's so good. If you have not read this, it's about a girl named Patton, and she's trying to break out from her very religious family, and her father is abusive, and she gets sent away to her aunt's ranch in like Nevada or something like that because she gets caught in this compromising position with a boy. Long story short, really good book, please read it. The third question is, you're sitting in a nice comfy chair wearing a onesie with a nice warm cup of hot chocolate, but what monster book are you reading? I'm going to assume that this means like big book, but your girl wanted to do like a monster book. So I'm going with Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. And obviously it's not a very big book, but zombies, so. I'm counting it as a monster book, even though it's not really a monster book. But I don't really read big books. If I had to pick a monster book, I would pick like the Infernal Devices trilogy or like the Lunar Chronicles, like Winter. That's a pretty big book. But I'm pretending that you meant like monster as in like, ooh, scary. <laughs> so this is what I'm going with. I absolutely love this book. I think that I liked the book better than the movie, to be honest, from what I remember, although I really did enjoy the movie as well. I just really like this book. Question four is, it has started snowing, so you decide to have a snowball fight. What fictional character would you like to have a snowball fight with? And I am going with Winter by Marissa Meyer. I'm picking Winter because, honestly, I just think it would be so funny to pelt her with snowballs. Because she'd probably have a lot of fun because she's cuckoo crazy bananas, and I just think it would be hilarious. So, I'm picking Winter. Question five is, sadly, your fire is beginning to go out. What book would you pick to tear the last few chapters out of? I... I'm just going to hold the book up, and I'm not going to say anything, because you should all know why. And the final question is, what book is so close to your heart that you would gift it to somebody who wants to get into reading? I have two answers for this. One is because it's like a really meaningful story, and I think everybody should read it, and the second one is just because I really like the story. So the one that I think is like super meaningful and everybody should read the story is Speak by Laurie Hulse Anderson. Honestly, I think everybody needs to read this book. If you haven't read this book, please read this book. Its message is so important. And I just, I adore this book. It's one of my favorites. It's been one of my favorites since I've read it. It follows a girl named Melinda Saradino, and basically she has to call the cops to break up a senior party, and everybody ends up hating her while she goes through her freshman year of high school, so she decides that she's not going to speak. And basically the truth comes out about why she broke up the party, and it's just... It's such a beautiful story, please read it. And then my other answer is just because I love the book so, so much. I recently read it. I have a review if you want to check it out. But the book is Vinyl by Sophia Elaine Hansen. And I recently read this book, as I just said. And I just... 
It's so good, guys. Like, a lot of people have probably never heard of this book. But I've been raving about it on Twitter, and I just can't deal with how good it is. If you want to know what my full thoughts, obviously I give it a 5 out of 5 stars because I'm trying to gift it to all of you. But my review is up there. Check it out. Really good book. Highly recommend. Read the book. Alright, guys. So that was my Winter Wonderland book tag. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.